how we can work in Illustrator to create uh, these kind of interweaving lines. Okay, so at a, at a very simple example, I'm just going to make a new document here. Um, we're just going to grab the basic line tool, okay, and just drag and pull a line across here. So I'm going to do a real simple example uh, first. And to adjust the stroke of this particular line, we just grab the stroke tool across here on the right hand side um, and we can increase the stroke. So we can either just kind of uh, go up and down the built in measurements here or just stick our cursor in there and just use the up and down arrow which is my preferred method for doing it. Okay. Then once we've got that we can basically go to object and then path and we're going to outline that stroke. So it's changed it from being a stroke into a shape. So it's not a stroke anymore. It's got a shape with, with fill. Okay. So basically now we can change the, the color of that shape and we can also give the shape its own stroke which we'll do here and this will become uh, kind of more apparent um, why it's important um, when when we actually get on to doing when we get on to doing the kind of wavy strokes okay so we'll just do this quickly so I'm just going to duplicate this a couple times okay all right and then what I'm going to do in order to get this kind of interwoven effect is I'm going to create a second layer here okay and then just copy and paste these existing stripes into that second layer okay so you can see now I just selected the second layer and then put those stripes on that second layer okay so with those selected I'm just gonna whoops recolor them a different color okay so in order to make them interweave which we can't do in Illustrator because they're on the different layers we want to make them kind of go one behind the other we need to uh, do some copying and pasting so I'm going to copy and paste the the green ones first here into a new document so I'll make a new regular letter size document and I'm just going to rotate it so it's landscape paste those in as a smart object and basically I want to have these at 100% so I'm just going to take them back to their original scale by typing in 100 here and keeping them locked together okay and then I'll jump back to Illustrator copy that other layer and then paste it back in as a smart object okay and really simply that's how you get between Photoshop and Illustrator so you can copy and paste stuff as long as you see what it is that you want then you've got that stuff uh, within within Photoshop. Um, it's still a vector so it's a smart object so you can scale it up and scale it down and it won't lose its quality. It'll keep that vector uh, kind of appearance. Okay and then I'll just transform this again back to 100%. Okay so now what I want to do is I want to interweave uh, these between one another. Okay so this is pretty straightforward for this example we can duplicate the green layer so I've got two versions of that green layer one on top and one behind and then I'm gonna create a layer mask here grab the brush tool and then just make sure it's a nice hard edge brush okay and then come in here and just go and make these into we so I'm basically masking out these to, to kind of make make that weave okay so not super complex but it gives a nice effect um, for for kind of weaving those shapes um, in and out of one another okay and I did do a really big pattern earlier on like of a whole A4 or letter size page but uh, I didn't think you'd want to watch the whole the whole thing so <laughs> it took me about half an hour to do it Okay, so then how do we do that with the, the strokes? How do we kind of think about doing that with those wavy strokes? This is going to incorporate um, some other tools in Illustrator. So the brush tool and also um, working with the, the pen tablet using the pressure for the pen tablet as well so we can get some variation in the, the brush as well, in the, in the size of the brush. Okay, so on our left hand palette here um, we have 
our pen tool oops up here okay um, we have the curvature tool text tool and then down here we have the paintbrush tool which is what we're going to use for this now the paintbrush tool has a whole bunch of options if you double click on it um, for uh, the, fid the fidelity um, so if you want it accurate i.e. to paint exactly where you're going to paint or whether you want it to be smooth which basically means that after you've painted it's going to smooth the brush out for you okay which is what we're going to use now we're going to have it kind of around this halfway point where it's going to smooth the brush for us when we actually paint okay so if we click OK to that then when we paint now why did it do that I think I've already been playing with it oh I've got the wrong so I've got uh, some kind of crazy brush selected we'll go back to the regular brush so now you can see when I paint it's jerky until I let go and then it smooths it out after it's painted it okay now the nice thing about the brush tool in Illustrator is that when you've painted with it it's not a brush that you can't edit we can go back and we've got all these vector based points that we can go in and manipulate and edit so we can refine it um, as much as we want when we've actually got that brush painted okay so we can paint it roughly and then we can go back in and adjust if we can actually grab these okay we can go back in and adjust things okay so that's a, a brush that is basically um, a smooth brush now if we want to kind of refine that brush so that it's got some pressure uh, sensitivity on it then we have to come up to the brushes panel here okay and go to brush options um, down there which basically gives us options for the angle of the brush so we can have a kind of calligraphic uh, brush if we want the roundness of the brush okay so we'll set a little bit of roundness on here and then the size of the brush which at the moment is set to, to random but we could set it to pressure which will mean it will have pressure from the stylus wheel okay but we need to set this variation for it to actually work for it to actually have an, a certain amount of variation okay so now when I paint here with a brush tool we should be able to get some different kinds of variation with that brush tool okay and you can see it's really different to painting with a, the Photoshop brush tool which you'll all hate me for now because it's really nice and smooth uh, compared to um, the Illustrator brush tool which does a nice smooth job so then how do we think about kind of interweaving these different lines okay so now it's basically the same kind of principle so if we grab a brush here and then start to paint with it this is painting paths right so when we're painting paths over one another without getting too complicated then we've basically got paths that we can uh, turn into shapes now okay so with these paths um, selected we've got individual paths selected here then basically we can take all those paths and then go to object path and outline stroke and that will make each of those individually a stroke or a, a, a shape rather than a, a path on its own okay so you can see now rather than the path here where it's running through the the middle if I redo that you can see it's running around the outside of that shape okay so I can fill it with a color and I can also give it a stroke okay so it's got its stroke and it's got its path so we'll just uh, do some different, in fact if we do them all first with a black outline and a white fill, that'll save some time and then we'll just go through and add some different colours in here Okay. okay good enough so now we've got um, these kind of interweaving shapes and we could go and make a tree that grows or something like that um, or we could kind of make paths that flow off of one another okay so as an example if we wanted to do something like that uh, let's take uh, this one down the bottom then we could grab the brush tool again and then just flow off the edge of let's come back into it the pressure on this tablet is not that great so it kind of goes the wrong way around. Okay. 
So you can see we've got some lines off the edge of that. If we grab these, pass off the edge, and then outline the stroke, and then grab this tool here, we can change them to the same color, and then we can use the Pathfinder, which if it doesn't appear is under Window and Pathfinder which in Illustrator is your friend and then we can join them together so we've got this kind of branching off shapes with the outline on them. Okay, So let's copy these into Photoshop. Okay, So I'll just group these layers Okay, and then create a new layer and we'll just paste that on as a smart object and then I'll just send this back to 100%. Okay. And then so basically now the problem we've got with these lines which we didn't have with the the weave is that we can't reveal this red line or this orange line behind there because it's all in one layer, it's all flat, right? So we need to go back and say okay, well if we want this red line to appear over the top um, and maybe this orange line to kind of weave in and out here then we would need to copy them separately so we can jump back in and copy individual lines let's just do a couple and this is the other reason for copying stuff and pasting it 100% because if I now paste this in and then make this 100% again I know that I'll be able to match the the pixels with a little bit of moving to one another okay so should be able to relatively quickly get it pretty close. That looks pretty good. So what I'm looking for here when I'm pasting that in and sending it back and kind of getting those things positioned um, is just that there's no jump on this line when I'm turning the layer on and off. So you can see I've if I have this layer one pixel out then it'll look like it's jumping okay but because I've got it in the right spot when I turn it on and off it just looks like it's turning on and off okay so now if I come here add a layer mask to this layer and grab a black brush I can now get this to weave in and out of those other layers so it's going above and below the different lines okay rather than just above one line okay so which is the other one I did So we can see we've got them weaving in and out of one another. Okay? And I guess a better example of this might be, if we go back to this example, would be that if we created a brand new layer here, just hide these other layers, okay, and then did something like this, like a plaid shape.
Oh, I think I got the the doubling. I got the position slightly wrong for this one. Anyway, you get the idea. So. Okay, so now you can see it's weaving in and out of itself. Okay, so that's a quick uh, demo of how.